Moving on from that, I wanted to quickly touch upon Balenciaga Spring 2024 Ready to Wear, which I was really impressed by personally. Um, there's a lot of theories out there that allegedly this collection was Demner's kind of farewell to Balenciaga, that maybe he might be leaving it sometime soon, which I don't really think so, because he's made, you know, he's made flipping, um, he's made carrying a lot of money, and I don't really see them essentially trying to kick him out and get somebody else in, in you especially since they weathered the storm of all the pedophilia sh shit that was going on with the fucking bdsm bears and shit they weathered that storm they came back um pretty well to be fair demna kind of learned his lesson he's not really out here saying flagrant shit um which i predicted he would anyway he would do that um he definitely learned his lesson i think that whole um edgelord provocateur thing stick was getting old very quickly even towards the end of vetima the thing that he was doing where he was kind of you know always poking fun of the fashion industry it's like look you're part of it also you can't you know be a part of it you know work inside this constraint and then also complain and dig you know and kind of take the piss out of it at all times if you love it or you don't um that in between thing was a little bit annoying so i'm glad he kind of dropped the edge lord thing and now he's just getting back to making clothes which he's always been great at which is why i've always been like vetamon because there was no real theme or rhyme or reason behind what they did it just put out fucking clothes and i think goron probably did it's probably doing the same thing with it but probably going a bit too far by just putting out loads of shit but still i think them has really done a lot of great things for balenciaga and i don't feel like there's a really obvious candidate out there at the moment to replace him do you know what i mean that's the issue unless um caring want to do the whole thing that everyone else is doing where they're promoting really unheard of behind the scenes designers who the people in the know know about but the public don't maybe but i don't think there's a real standout person to take the job and there really isn't even a standout crossover person in streetwear to take the job personally um maybe apart from if you want to try your chance at getting someone like a tyler the creator to do it right because i saw his recent collection for lacoste um he's le fleur golf le fleur collection with Lacoste collaboration was fucking amazing he could be another bit of a wild card but there's not really a, a standout person in streetwear who you would give a fashion house job to there's not a lot of standout people in fashion that you give the job to so i just think with them doing what he's doing and chugging along slowly without any controversy why would you get rid of him so i'm not really too i don't sure i buy that but the show was interesting to say the least um because it featured um demna's mum here i think that might be the first time i've seen her in press or anything so she was on there and a lot of friends and family were featured on a runway um it was also the first introduction that we've seen to a plus size model on a demna um runway if i'm not mistaken um it kind of feels like that moment when hedy samain started to include black people in his runway for a while hedy samain hated putting black kids on his runway or black models anyway for some reason um he liked that indie grunge look of just all whites and shit looking like they're always on heroin but he managed to find some black dudes also who don't mind the brown stuff who look like they don't mind the brown stuff walking around with because you know if you know anything about your history especially of music you know um that brown stuff wasn't just a white thing you know many people were on that shit so i always found it interesting that heady it took him a long time to get black models on a runaway when really and truly that scene that culture everything was really not based on race or color really it was just kind of if anything more of a socioeconomic thing but hey what do i know the question itself i thought was really nice great proportions and places um i liked most of the shapes even kathy horn was there the original five-star general of a hater there one of the biggest and most legendary fashion critics Politics on the world um one of the things that i really loved was these upside down sun sunglasses that they had featured here um kind of an upside down design i really liked how they looked they kind of gave it a little bit of a visor feel they also kind of made it look similar to that guy in um what's his name the guy from star is it star trek the black dude i forgot what his name is he's got that kind of visor thing around the face that kind of reminded me of that um you've got um diane pernet here right the influential again fashion commentator the one that talks like this right she's fucking amazing also so big up her she's in a fucking runway of course you've got your plus size model there and loads of other industry people here who i don't really recognize to be honest but i loved it one of the things i also loved apart from the sneakers was this wallet clubs thing that they got it's like a i guess it's like a passport holder had a fake ticket on there too but it kind of looked like it which i'm a big fan of i like some of the flurry the furry sandal shoe things there's a few designers i saw a marcus armida doing it and i forgot who else but i've seen it featured in a runaway quite often this season people making shoes and bags with like frilly bits on it so bits of fur sticking out 
friendly bit sticking out of it it's definitely become like a little bit of a trend you've seen on a lot of runways at the same time so i love that whole big group think um talking about big group think again look at the proportions on these massive shoulders on some of these looks between 19 and 21 and again with 22 to 24 very amazing again i really like these heels um with kind of look like a sandal but they've got a heel on them which is quite cool right you've taken the heel design you've taken a sandal design with the big strap at the front instead of a big plastic strap it's full of fur or whatever maybe and then instead of just being a sandal they've also got a, a high heel version so you kind of take a very basic um you know run of the mill sandal and you kind of lux it up by adding a heel you kind of make it a little bit more chic i love that i love the bags with all the accoutrements and wallets and keys and locks and padlocks all over it that kind of reminds me a little bit of that bridge is it in paris where they've got all the padlocks all over it so it's kind of got that feel or it kind of reminds me of those really bougie and rich because usually a lot of very very wealthy people who carry hermes bags and whatever they may be they usually bang them up they don't you know care for them in pristine condition like a lot of people that have new money do and sometimes you'll see them tying hermes scarves around them little padlocks and stuff little trinkets and shit they really abuse and they love and abuse it and the more weathered and fucked up it looks the better and i think that's probably maybe the kind of inspiration that them was going for with this bag that um the model's wearing on look number 23 i really like the look of that again great proportions you've got that clasp again in the hand another great bag i like the layering on the skirt here on look number 25 this um proportions here on look number 26 with the model's face really angular with the cheekbones and the shoulders and shit looks amazing there's up some there's a, a pair of high heel boot shoes i want to get a better look at them but they kind of look like chelsea boots with a really pointy toe men's as well i really like look at them i definitely wear those the double breasted suit jackets um look really amazing also i want to try and, and you got the jeans here with the lace tie um, something i've been doing for a while and skaters have been doing forever and ever i love the look of that also it looks really great you've got the one half um dip combat this is a really good i think this is probably going to get copied by sheen or one of those companies very soon it's, it's a pair of pants one half of them is camo combats and the other half is just a regular jean i'm sure there's some company that's going to do flip that and do that a lot i really like this um shrunken hoodie design that they have um it feels like a shrunken but it isn't it probably is there's probably more to it to design um especially trying to get it at this particular size but it looks really fitted it kind of reminds me of what it looks like to wear like a vest tucked into your jeans right that kind of athletic kind of like um jean, jean claude van damme looking fucking kickboxer i love that with obviously the lgbtq flag there um that's the guy i think that's kylie jenner and kendall's friend and he looks really good here as well in number look number 34 this all leather look is so good you've got this massive long leather trench coat with a hood leather pants with the drawstrings a leather bag a hoodie tucked into it with the glasses and the heels like that's a bad boy look i'm not gonna lie i love also this look here on look number 37 i love the construction actually of this skirt the construction of this skirt is really cool it's basically looks like a pair of trousers they all look like trousers that have been splayed open and then pieced together to make this really long skirt design with this big bag you've got mike the ruler here i think on look number 38 he's a real big fan of vetimo and what they do anyway i'm not sure if he works with them behind the scenes and stuff but he wears a lot of their shit and he's obviously wearing a great look there as well so pick up him um i recognize him from afar again some good looks here i love this um hotel bathrobe another great wrinkled trench looking thing i love that they got these bags these reusable plastic bags that you see in in, in, in paris a lot i i would love to actually go to a lot of european countries to the local supermarkets and see what they use as bags because i remember every place is different like if you go to berlin um i don't know if it's the same for all of germany but when people go to their supermarkets they usually take with them a tote bag no one usually buys plastic bags everyone kind of always takes a little tote bag with them or they carry the things back home in the cardboard that you use to kind of display and take out the shit in the shop um when you go to paris you see a lot of people carrying these reusable sort of like you know plasticky toti bag things that you buy in a shop right so they'll carry those a lot um I, but i guess every country has their own thing in the, for the longest time in the uk people would carry a plastic bag because they're always free but now that you have to pay for them it's kind of half and half some shops make you pay for them by force some shops don't really enforce a rule so sometimes people carry the plastic bag sometimes people just you know take their own tote bag with them but i'd love to go to every european country to see what the vibe is there again loads of nice bathrobes i'm not really too sure about having 
three different bathrobe looks on the runway. It's a bit excessive. That's five, isn't it? You've got black, blue, red, and white. It's a bit excessive when they're all the same, essentially. Um, but hey, what do I know? And again, you've got the same thing with the track. Yeah, that's a bit much, bro. Three tracksuit looks in four. Um, one black, one gray. Um, one gray, and I guess whatever the color is, it's slate, whatever you call that is. Um, again, I like the proportions of it. I think there is something very well done about the hoodie i think so again i'm not really too sure about pattern cutting um i've never really sewn anything detailed so i don't really too know too tough but i just know from how it sits and the proportions and stuff and the cut that there's probably a lot of work and a lot of man hours that goes into constructing this hoodie i'm pretty sure of it but i love the zip up hoodie with the glasses and the pants and stuff that's like a perfect airport look to be fair traveling look and all that malarkey i would actually love it in my life if i was able to be that person because i see them a lot when i go abroad and shit on um, vacation you go to the airport you pull up and you see a guy or a girl wearing that um that amazing north face bag i think i've always wanted one of those actually to travel it's like a north face drum bag it's like a duffel bag but you can also put it on your back as a backpack it's kind of it's, you know, it's a decent enough size and you'll see a guy or a girl just carrying that and that's it and you're like wow bro how can you go away with just one bag like that? Like, I have to check in luggage. I'm taking four pairs of shoes. I've got an outfit for every day. I sometimes take my running stuff with me and then I don't run. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, absolutely incredible shit that I do. And people just are able to take a duffel bag with them on holiday, on vacation over the weekend and come back all oh, blessed. Um, or I've seen one time I went and I saw a guy legitimately taking a tote bag with him. He took a tote bag and he had some stuff stuffed in it and that was it. I was like, oh my God, amazing. Um, the new runners are really cool also. I like the runners. Um, I love the fact that he always makes these really excessive, um, no, sorry, there's always gargantuan, crazy looking shoes that kind of look like sneakers, but also look, you know, too bulbous to be just regular sneakers i love that because essentially these are sort of like meant for walking all day long essentially right you're meant you're kind of he's kind of creating designer shoes that are meant for like walking around and having on your feet all the time which essentially adds as a walking living billboard also so it's a great little thing there and usually the quality is pretty decent even the ones that are made in china i've had two like i've had triple s's that are made in italy when they first came out because i got the one of the first ones when they first came out i was really happy about that and i've also had the china made ones and they're really decent quality to be fair i'm not gonna lie um the camo looks are really great also um i'd probably go for this sort of like whiter camo probably be the one for me they've got some great biker jackets with the o symbol it looks like a b but it also looks like an opium label i love the padded shoulders on all these jackets and shit these look really sick um again great motorcycle jackets again the half and half combat pants here um courtesy of look number 56 look awesome you got the leather trench some dresses are coming this way a great track jacket looks awesome again you got a great hoodie jacket here i love that logo um, a nice dress here on look number 64 with all the flowers on it i love the anti ad block or stop sign here hoodie on look number 69 with the pointy shoes um look number 71 is really awesome as well as a 72 and also 75 73 i love the look of with the hoodies and all the little designs on this as well kind of remind me of those kind of prison tattoos russian people getting shit nice dress again good dresses good gowns and again you know a nice wedding or i guess morning whatever you'd call it right towards the end here then you get to some details which kind of give the details of the things that i want to see here the glasses are sick when you look at them up close the upside down glasses things because they basically look like visors and they don't go around your ears they sort of wrap around your head so i'd have to kind of get my head braided probably to get wear those they look really cool you have the bag here with all the trinkets and shit on it you got a front view of the glasses here it looks really awesome i actually did them um, this girl, what's her name? Paloma Elsa, right? The the sister of the skateboarder. Did she walk Balenciaga before? She might be the first plus size model then, isn't it? If she was there. I'm not really too sure. Um again, I love the boots, the with a pointy toe and a really, really tiny heel there. The the clasp bag hand passport holder thing is really cool. Detailed five. I wonder if that's actually a passport holder or if it's like a passport holder that's made to look like a passport. It's not oh, if it's a passport holder, that's actually a wallet. I wonder what it is i would love to see what that looks like whatever this tote bag design is i love it um well, i don't know what it's called deep look number eight but i would really like that i'm not gonna lie um i want to join the gang of guys who are wearing like women's handbags as, as satchels and shit i think they look really cool i'm not really too fond of these legging heel things to be totally honest the recruitments on look number seven look really awesome 
again those sunglass visor things these are going to be really popular i think they're sort of like bat wing type of thing it's going to be really really popular um again i love the sneakers personally i think they are up there with the triple s's in terms of a look i'm not too mad at these maybe you want them to be a little bit more thicker but i'm not too crazy i'm not too, i'm not mad at them i would definitely like those um you've got a cuffs design here on the outside of the bag which is kind of giving hermes you've got a shoe that you can hold in your hand as a bag i'm assuming as a some sort of clutch it looks really cool oh look at the design of those heels look how they make your foot go so far forward i wonder if that's just like a heel if that's like an extra bit or if that actually makes your foot do that i doubt it i'm sure that's just like an extra bit at the back here um the belt ring is an interesting little touch here on the finger again you got the class i guess i guess the is that the shoe they're holding in their hand as a class or is this a regular shoe i'm not too sure i would love to see what that i want, I want to see some um looks on the storeroom as well okay cool you got a bit of a translucent feel there with the glasses to see people's eyes i love the com the cargoes with the high heels with the fur high heels you got the long sleeve with the fake tattoos thing um, it's a shame they don't make this in like brown skin so that you could have i could have it too they've only got this white but i guess it's problematic if you start doing brown skin long sleeve fake tattoo things so i get it why they're not doing it oh they've got oh look at this this is pretty cool isn't it i didn't see that it's like um it's a luggage it's an airport luggage bag but it's been made in a material that is just a regular handbag so it crumps up like a regular handbag but it looks like a roller luggage thing that's really cool i'm not gonna lie that looks really amazing I, I would want that that looks really really cool um great glasses again i love the look of those you've got the pack oh look you got ballet flunt you got ballet um pumps but made in heels these look really cool also that's not a great that's not a shabby look you got a good model here wearing a do-rag on a runway very hip and very uh, on brand there from balenciaga well done for them you got the sneakers which would definitely be a hit i think they probably look the best they've done in a while because i didn't really like those um those ones that they brought out recently that look like a tire i kind of prefer these these look way way harder so do the glasses on, on detail look number 46 to 48 kind of conventional glasses from balenciaga here a bit of a metallic -y look to them in the blue the pink and the orange or reddish type of colorway um again free you know they've got the same glasses shape done for four five times here on the detail look a bit strange but hey what can you do oh i love the color on her hair there the pink as well sitting off good dye job there good hair and makeup nice glasses the pointy shoes with the combat is a nice touch the earrings are really good yeah i'm not mad at this man i'm not mad at this at all you got some good designs here okay you got so i guess what i said was true that passport holder thing is not real it's made to look like a passport holder that's got um flight ticket things on it but it's actually just a regular wallet that looks really cool i'm not going to lie i'm not really too mad at that in the slightest that looks really really impressive that's a kind of a very clever design so you've got a passport and inside it you've got all these boarding passes that you know are fake of course but it's also made to look real but it's actually just a regular wallet like if you actually look on this side at the top here you'll see it's just a regular wallet on the inside that's made to look like a passport holder with boarding passes on it that says paris to geneva and geneva i guess is where balenciaga is based or where demna is based one or the either or maybe both but yeah big up balenciaga for um spring 2024 to be honest um really enjoyed that collection i'm not gonna lie um loved everything about it let me quickly go back and see if there's anything else i missed here i'm gonna have to load reload everything again actually let's read quickly the review and see what he said here the review courtesy of vogue magazine which is written by a person called sarah moa it says i have to be me i can't express my creativity my creativity sorry i can't castrate my vision i just can't do those things it's not me so this collection is a celebration of everything that i love about fashion Demler was coming off a year during which he had felt very alone. In reaction, his spring 2024 show was a gathering of the people who have meant the most to me in my personal life. From his mother who opened the show to his husband, Lloyd Gomez, who also is known as Boyfriend, who wore the final wedding dress and mixed um, and scored the soundtrack. Oh shit, Boyfriend is at the end. Fucking hell, he looks amazing. Um, they were, um, I love my, I wear my sunglasses at night. His remix of that song is so good. Um, there were a lot of 
of um, hot topics to unpack. When Debner talks of what he loves about fashion, he defines it in opposition to luxury. Some of his people were carrying faux passports with boarding cards to Geneva, where he lives, slotted into them. They were Balenciaga wallets. In fact, because it's more about identity to me, I questioned a lot about that, how fashion created. For me, I have to be honest. I don't care much about luxury. I don't want to give people propositions to look like they're rich or successful because luxury is top down. And what is often seen as quite provocative to me is I do bottom up. Ah, okay. Which also explains why I have such an affinity with him because I think we're the same. I also not the biggest fan of luxury and shit. I'm more, you know, luxury to me is being able to travel to places, eat at nice restaurants, you know, look after your friends, have a good time and shit, whatever, maybe pay your bills ahead of time, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Have yourself on auto pay. That to me is a form of, um, you know, of luxury as opposed to just going around wearing Cartier love bracelets and shit, personally. Um, Demner's last ready to wear show was his comeback from the controversy that embroiled Blenciaga in 2022. He says, I look back at it and I really hated it. He says, yeah, right. You didn't hate it, man yay walking the show the mud the aggression the bears like that show was actually pretty good there were some really high, good highlights in there some great jackets like come on let's be real um it's a good show but it's very polished in many ways it was a show of fear i don't i don't like it when it's polished i like it when it's rough it's my aesthetic that show was polished all the sh all the models running around in the mud the fucking skateboard hoodies covered in mud and shit like those bits and bobs have been flying off the shelf how can that be wow but the, the fact that he views his stuff like that is crazy um i don't like it when it's too polished i like it when it's rough that's my aesthetic and i have to stay loyal to that what i showed today was probably my most personal and my most favorite collection because it was about me it was about my story um with this with his cast of family and friends around him including linda lopper and other academic staff who taught him at the airport Antwerp, sorry, Academy, the collection reiterated the under and underscored all the Demnerisms he is impressed upon fashion at Balenciaga and before that his first business vetement. Imagine being one of his um, tutors at the fucking Antwerp Academy. You have the grace to say whatever you want to students for the next two decades and plus. Do you know what I mean? They can't talk to you. You can just say, look, I taught fucking Demner. You got to listen to me. Do you know what I mean? I know what I'm talking about. He's now gone on to be one of the most important designers of his time and probably will go down as one of the important designers in fashion history. You have to listen to me, right? Um, humongous tailoring, oversized hoodies and jeans, sinister leather coats and military camouflage were rep 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 represented. So were um, plus evening gowns, um, floral prints, bathrobes, motorcycle levers. Demner's jockey accessories were everywhere. Um, Balenciaga sneakers grown... Um, even more absurdly vast than ever supermarket grocery toast reproduced in leather oh they're actually leather wow marabou trimmed men's kitten heeled bardo slippers and hand carried shoes converted into clutch bags i love that fashion should be fun he said he said with a laugh yet he was also arguing for it to be taken seriously the opening and closing sections of a show were all made from multiple um, upcycled clothes one-offs and were sold under a new balenciaga atelier label oh wow amazing you know what i was thinking actually about clutch bags i've never actually worn one or had one because i tend to lose things a lot so my head if i had a clutch bag with my wallet keys a couple of eight balls in it i'd probably lose that quickly because i'll just be putting it down places walking away and forgetting i put it down so i wonder what the thinking is behind people who are able to carry clutch bags with them maybe you go to places in ubers all the time maybe you make sure you don't get too fucked up maybe you have to kind of train your brain to always hold it in your hand it's an odd thing to have holding in your that's why i like to have bags that have straps i can just put it over my body and just forget about it right i mean like i've just like to i don't want to fiddle around all the time i want to have my hands free so it's an interesting design proposition to put out there like i don't think dudes usually carry clutch bags right unless you're a footballer and you've got those little wash bag things that they all like um Demner said that he'd done a lot of sewing himself and um, aiming to find new volumes on the machine on some basic types that he used as a student vintage trenches bombers were cobbled together with four sleeve a piece multiple evening gowns were made from multiple old evening gowns black silver fuchsia and satin and glitter gold meanwhile the soundtrack isabel huppert reading out the instructions of tailoring a jacket told another story about the labor that goes into fashion it took an hour just to record it said Demner. wow by the 
Ian Huppert's the diction sped up almost to the point of hysteria with a pounding beat in the background. I wanted to put it in the spotlight. I wanted to show you, I wanted to show, you know, fashion is a complex job and I wanted to show that appreciation and it adds to it, the value to it. I didn't, I want her to be angry, but I wanted to show how intense this process is and it's not marketing, it's not business strategy, it's about labor, it's about creativity, story and craft. That's amazing. I kind of want to hear the soundtrack now. I need to start going back to watching actual shows. I only just usually just view the fucking images, but I need to actually watch shows just to get a feel of what this stuff is all about and stuff. But Balenciaga Spring 2024 looked absolutely amazing. I love the clutches. That wallet design thing is very, very on. Um, I'll definitely try and get the glasses and, and that wallet. To be fair, the bag probably might be a little bit out of my current price range if I wanted to get that. That bag is going to be pretty expensive, I'm assuming. This nice little tote handbag thing, I'm sure, isn't going to be cheap. The ballet flunt, the ballet pump heel things are really good design, but I'm still looking to get the ballet pumps very soon. Keep an eye out for that when I do the review on those. Um, the clutch shoe bag thing is a cool little design also. I love that. Very fun, very creative way of kind of presenting a bag. The wallet is one of my favorite bits and pieces, I'm not going to lie. Those upside down visor looking glasses are cool. The fur high heel things, kitten heel things are great. All the accoutrements on the bag. I'm not too sure if they sell two, I'm sure it will be like that. There'll be two different versions. There'll be a version that has all these locks and keys on them and cut, you know, carabrinas in like a heart-shaped design and there'll probably be another one that's like a basic one because this one looks like it's been weathered and dyed on purpose too but i definitely prefer this version over the other one but one of my favorite pieces for sure has to be this fake luggage bag thing that's such a cool idea and design i've never seen that before taking a regular airport bag and then turning it into a bag that you can wear over your shoulder is so cool like i love that i'm not gonna lie i fucking love that couple design actually the hair and beauty is really good too the braids the dyeing of the hair looks really cool the ballet plump the ballet pump kitten heel things are great these um grocery bags that look like they're in the same plastic thing that they do um grocery bags in but they're actually made of leather are great the airport gown the balenciaga sneakers here they're going to be really popular I'm, I'm sure so the glasses all of these things are going to do really great and again i didn't know the wedding gown was made out of like you know it looks like fucking curtains you'd have your mum would have in their home and shit i really love the look of these so yeah loads of loads of great stuff on here loads of great graphics another clutch bag here made in a high heel design as you can see there's a zip there you can tell that's actually a bag that looks really cool the pointy shoes here look really awesome as well i'm not going to lie oh they're actually flats i thought their sandals were like heel they're not they're actually flats they look really great as well you got the jeans on there another one with the clutch bag the high, the high heel clutch bag thing and then you got boyfriend here in the end wearing the wedding gown really cool love everything about it not really mad at it in the slightest would love to see more very very soon would love love to see more and then of course there's the beef that's ongoing between Demna and his brother Gorham which I'm also loving at the moment and um, Gorham who's now the head of Vetimor um, they're trying to retell the story and make it seem like Demna and Gorham are the same level ability design wise which I don't think is true I think the the initial story of Gorham being the business guy and Demna being the design guy is true um, obviously along the way they fell out and then Demna stopped doing better more and then Gorham took over it and so far you know he's done an okay job in maintaining the course that Vetimar was on but I don't think anyone could mess with Demna era Vetimar that Demna era was just too good and I'm even still buying up loads of bits and bobs from it I see people always asking for certain bits and bobs that that collection would be legendary forever and ever but Gorham had some words to say about flipping Demna and his collection of Balenciaga for featuring their mum as an opening look he posted on his Instagram right Demna's brother right <laughs> fucking hilarious proud to see my mum opening the Balenciaga show very sad that I was not invited to witness it praying for my brother's soul god bless him imagine praying for your brother's soul on the fucking instagram timeline is fucking hilarious so clearly they've got a lot of beef there um them not using his mum um as a as a prop is crazy the mum taking part and not wanting and not forcing them to bring the brother is fucking crazy right fashion really has broken this family up man the vasilias are on fire it's like an episode of keeping up with the collections which is funny because i think somebody on social media posted a picture of a t-shirt that vetamon did before um that was uh keeping up with a with the Vasilias instead of keeping up Kardashians it was a little logo flip which was fucking hilarious so clearly there have been some issues in the background which must be um, annoying because I guess both guys want to be stars 
Um, both guys want to be in the limelight, um, but both guys aren't as talented as each other. Do you know what I mean, one guy is Demino and one guy is Gorham. So, you know, there needs to be, I think, an acceptance of your place, even though you're still doing well, and then kind of just being a cheerleader for the other guy. I think that's probably a far better way to go about doing things. But again, what do I know? Um, Demino's mum and stuff are going to do what they're going to do. He posted that, and then he posted this other thing on his Instagram, that he, but he deleted it. He deleted it. He actually deleted this, but he posted this post that shows a Vetema, um gown um, with the model completely covered and hands are covered from June 2023. And then it shows the same gown style by Balenciaga made by his brother, recent collection from October 2023. I love how he said Vetema and other brand. <laughs> he really dislikes his brother, man. He really fucking dislikes his brother. So that's unfortunate that's happening. But again, it shouldn't be too much of a surprise if you read the article from the New York Times titled The Man Who Wants To Be The Biggest Thing In Fashion um, Goran Vasilius of Vetema um, revealed that he had been making out costume to Madonna posp uh, postponed tour right before in the middle of control week it was a classic move so in this interview with Vanessa Friedman or this article he does say some very dicey things um, about his brother that will make you think hmm these guys aren't very close in the slightest i think i'm going to get try and get a quote here if i can find it if i scroll down you'll see a quote here um rolling down he's looking with dirt yeah so here you go so um here's a quote from um gorham right talking about him right he says um you guys really misunderstand how it is gorham says referring to fashion media um and he scrolls down you see him there with his grills and shit so you can tell he's a different you know character to demna he's a bit more street he's a bit more hood he's a bit more wigger in his description of how he goes about doing things and he says here as a quote about demna my brother is six years older when i'm in second grade he's an eighth he got certain opportunities in life earlier but if you consider where i am today where my brother was he was my age i think i'm far more advanced so this is demna's brother talking about him in a fucking big you know new york times article the way like that he's talking like absolutely crazy that you talk about your brother like this in the press ridiculous because you think even if you got beef you keep that shit behind closed doors but clearly they've been very competitive very at their throats for a very long time and you know he's basically saying hey i'm way further ahead now at my age when then, then when then when he was my age you know what i mean um you need to put more respect to my name which is crazy he also says i give the best example that everyone can relate to and this is the ultimate disrespect i feel like the kardashians you have kim who is a great person we think she's whenever someone says that you know there's going to be disrespect coming so you need you know you don't need disrespected kim you should disrespect his own brother when everyone says they're a great person by the way i love them it's like there's always some hate coming anyway he says the kardashians you have kim who is a great person we think she's phenomenal and you have kylie kylie's the young generation she's been very successful without having sex tapes having without having to go through all the things that her sister had to go through <laughs> another example is venus and serena they're both fantastic but somehow there's a point where serena manages kind of take over i think my brother is very talented but i have completely different approach to things he had a good run for 10 years and i think his era is slowly coming to its finishing line now it's my time <laughs> so fucking toxic <laughs> imagine saying you're wishing for your brother's fucking downfall you're wishing it ends for him he's not that guy you're that guy absolutely wild then he continues and says it's just the right time for us after the momentum of our show ben Chiago always releases news on the day of our show so i feel like it's only fair always must be something of an exaggeration the end of the anyway but you get it right you get it gorham doesn't like demna demna clearly doesn't like gorham to the point where he didn't even invite him um to be a part of the family and friends show that he put together even though he said in a review that this show right if i'm not mistaken if you scroll back to the top of the review actually of the spring 2020 for show didn't they say here um something about demna was coming off a year which he felt very alone in reaction the spring 2024 um, show was a gathering of people who have meant the most to me in my personal and professional life <laughs> that's a fucking diss and then he puts his mom as the opening look but then doesn't feature gurum anywhere in there and of course, everyone in the comments is going crazy as well about it. The beef is crazy. The collections of fashion. I was not invited to the show either and I'm not crying. <laughs> Gorham, did you invite your mother to open for Vetamal? True. Um, average Georgian family. That is your mom. Oh my God, she's stunning. People cap people, you know, there's always someone going to be glazing in public. Um, it is a strategic drama leading up to a collection. Good. If not, I'm sorry. Serial rivalry is personal. Another heart sign. Well, put your mom in the next show and invite him. 
that he um here is not Cain and Abel. You both are, oh, okay, so it's glazing. Shut up. The Gallagher's a fashion, exactly. Good one. Can someone please explain the situation? Oh, just Google it. People are doing this as well. You Google's your friend, it's not difficult. So out of pocket, your local Kardashians, but better. Um, our local Kardashians, but better. Someone says, Yeah, I'm here for it. Please, the caption. Um, what's it says here? Uh, you should hire a PR. Did he did he reply to this? Hopefully, did he reply, Gorham? No, he didn't. Okay, I thought you did reply to that. Um, car, someone this is uh, someone says, What gorgeous LMAFAO. Uh, well, you can make the opening with your dad and not invite your bro anyway. Both of you are talented. Um, why was he not invited? Praying for them, the soul question mark. Maybe we should all pray for your soul instead. Um, such a low PR campaign. People thinking this PR is hilarious. They clearly don't get along because Demna very much left Vetimar very abruptly and he made it very clear he's not designing for them anymore. Um, he he didn't even try to come back and do ghost designing. And since then, Vetimar's kind of gone a bit downhill, clearly. I think so. The maximalist, um, you know, paint by numbers, um, aggressive amount of looks that they have on the runway and stuff is just too much for me. There's some bit, some some good stuff here and there, but their collections kind of feel like Chris Brown albums. You know, 100 tracks. I'm sure there's some good ones in there, but I'm not going to listen to 100 tracks. Same with them. I'm not going to look at fucking 100 looks of fucking Vetman down the runway. Not happening. Um, another person says, Keke Manke. What's that mean? Keke ke, 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 si Manke. Don't know what that means. Excuse me, what? Uh, some words in Georgian. Spill the tea. I see uh, if she went because she was invited and him not. What she did was more bad. Lack of empathy in the class than the fact that he was not invited. Learn ethics, please. Yeah, exactly. The mum coming in between this beef, right, and just have been happy she got her time in the sun is a bit wild. Do you know what I mean? Your mum should be the one kind of, you know, maybe, you know, trying to, I don't know, squash the beef. Is that too much to ask? Should mummy should mum should mumsy be trying to squash the beef or should she be happy that she got invited to the show and she can walk the show and have a good time? She should be, I think, squashing the beef personally. But again, you know, what do I know when it comes to this stuff? I don't know jack shit. I don't know Jackie Jackie shit. But yeah, the Demners are the Demners are beefing. They're always beefing, it seems like for some reason. I'm not really too sure why, but the Demners are beefing. Everyone's really upset and hopefully hopefully that there's a resolution soon because no one likes to see the family feud in the timeline especially not me it kind of breaks my heart i'm not gonna lie but it's hilarious to see it's absolutely hilarious to see so nice nice nice